Jupiter is one of the most interesting planets in our solar system, and it also holds the title as being the biggest. Researchers have estimated that it's more than twice the size of any other planet in the solar system combined. Jupiter is also known for its many moons, and one of which being Europa may be home to life. However, this planet has recently been making the noons for causing problems to Earth. There's been a debate in recent years whether Jupiter is protecting us or actually putting us in harm's way. This is because some researchers have suggested that Jupiter has been acting as a kind of protector, in the sense that it's been shielding us from asteroids. However, many other researchers have said this isn't the case, and what Jupiter is essentially doing is throwing them towards us. One researcher came forward and said that after studying the way the gas giant interacts with the smaller bodies, it turns out they end up getting thrown in our direction. This comes after computer simulations were carried out, and this showed the team that Jupiter was not protecting the inner solar system, but rather having the opposite effect, and this included Earth being in the firing range of asteroids. Interestingly, it's been suggested this flinging effect was one of the reasons why our planet came to be. Going back to the early days of our planet, these asteroids would have slammed into us and helped mold planet Earth into what it is today. With other researchers saying if it wasn't for this effect, every event that played out on our planet would never have happened. The reason Jupiter was thought to have protected us was because if a planet has a mass of over 300 times that of Earth, then it would act as a kind of vacuum and suck all the nearby asteroids in, meaning that any large asteroids that passed by the gas giant would have been broken down. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory also worked on the paper, and suggested that the evidence does show that Jupiter isn't the protector we thought it was. As of right now, it's an interesting theory that's been backed up with some proof, but scientists are working to gather more information on whether Jupiter really is flinging asteroids at us. In recent years, Jupiter has been at the centre of many planned missions, and this interesting planet has taught us a lot over the years. Although this future NASA mission is still in its planning and conceptualization stages, there appears to be real plans made by the organization to develop a future mission that would begin to look for signs of life on the surface of Jupiter's moon. Known as the Europa Lander mission, NASA scientists theorize the most likely candidate for life to be found in our solar system is expected to be within the icy surface of Europa, due to its expectation of the moon holding vast amounts of water beneath the frozen surface. Data surrounding Europa believe that the moon holds a vast salty ocean of water, similar to our oceans on Earth. This giant ocean is said to span the moon's entire globe. Additionally, due to the frozen surface, scientists expect the conditions of the water to be favorable, as the ice surface acts as a natural atmospheric barrier against radiation, similar to our electromagnetic field, giving life desirable conditions to flourish without its deep oceans. NASA plans on sending a rover to the moon in the attempts to penetrate the surface, and collect samples more than 4 inches deep to better understand the complex chemistry of materials from the ocean below. Efforts are already being made by NASA engineers to design a rover similar to the Martian rovers, and that will be able to carry miniature laboratories within the lander to analyse samples, but with the addition of an onboard chemical analysis lamp that will be able to hold microscopic cameras for the analysation of microbes and bacterial life. Although the process is still in its conceptual stages, it holds high promise in the search for extraterrestrial life, and seems to be of growing priority in the coming years. Within the universe there are inexplicable energy bursts, planets and their moons, but one that researchers find interesting is Jupiter's red storm. This giant storm has been swirling around for hundreds of years, and to this day we don't know the source of this distinctive red colour. Some scientists have been doing laboratory experiments in order to produce the same colour. Interestingly, so far the researchers have discovered that possible temperature and radiation might be playing very important roles in changing the colour of transparent materials found in the clouds. One of the main suspects is the ammonium hydrosulfide, which is a type of salt. This salt seems to be quickly decomposing at specific atmospheric temperatures and conditions on our planet and this makes it really hard to investigate. 
For those who have never heard of this, ammonium hydrosulfide is the third most abundant cloud component found on Jupiter. It's a part of Jupiter's atmosphere, but it does not exist as a gas. This cloud component should be considered as salt grains mixed up with another material. Recently, NASA scientists have come forward and said that Jupiter's great red spot may not be around for much longer. This giant storm is shrinking and could possibly fade away within your lifetime. NASA sent the Juno probe to Jupiter in 2017, and it was able to photograph in amazing detail the great red spot. However, these photographs showed us that the storm is decreasing in size. Scientists believe that Jupiter's red spot has been swirling for at least 150 years, and it's estimated that it's wider than Earth and has been swirling around since the 1600s. NASA scientists are still studying the giant storm, and hope to learn more about its properties in the near future. Another interesting discovery that's been made in our solar system is that of the Great White Spot. Back in 1876, a popular astronomer Elsaf Hall noticed an interesting development on the northern hemisphere of the gas giant planet Saturn. Described as a great white spot, it would later be revealed to the astronomers that Saturn had the ability to create massive white spots on the surface of the planet that were manifestations of thunderstorms 10,000 times stronger than the strongest hurricane experienced on Earth. Interestingly enough, unlike the giant red spot on Jupiter, the thunderstorm does eventually stop and returns once every 30 years, making it one of the rarest astronomical events to be witnessed by scientists since its discovery back in 1876. The development of the Great White Thunderstorm has allowed scientists to accurately map the rotation and atmospheric conditions of the planet during its reoccurrence. Back in 2010, the Cassini orbiter was able to capture high-definition footage of the storm in December of that year. Since these sightings, this great white spot has appeared every 30 years, allowing astronomers and researchers to gather relevant data surrounding the planet, along with additional information about changes surrounding the atmosphere and energy of the planet based on thunderstorm formations. Pulsars have also piqued the interest of researchers in recent years. One of the smallest celestial bodies in the universe, as it might be a surprise to hear being less than an average of 20 miles in diameter, is responsible for the majority of the electromagnetic waves detecting out in space. These small bodies are known as neutron stars, the product of a collapsed core of a giant star. These collapsed cores are capable of emitting what are called FRBs, or fast radio bursts, as the star rotates at a rate of a thousand pulses per second. This causes the tiny celestial bodies to have a powerful magnetic field that shoots out beams of light along its magnetic axis. In rare cases, these pulsars could become magnetars, which are so volatile in their energy, that a single entity could release the majority of its trapped light and power in one-tenth of a second. One such event was recorded in which a magnetar known as SGR1806 had a burst that released more energy than our sun has emitted in a total output of over 100,000 years, and this happened in less than a tenth of a second. This leaves neutron stars as one of the densest and most volatile objects in the universe, second only to that of a singularity. Essentially, this means that due to the fact that a neutron star has yet to collapse in on itself like a black hole, it works to be one of the main causes of the largest explosions ever recorded in the universe, second to no other entities, not even that of the most massive supernovas ever recorded. A single rupture in the crust of a highly magnetized neutron star could translate to an entire aerospace time completely tearing down to the atomic level. Given the fact there are an estimated 30 million magnetars in our galaxy alone, it leaves a lot to fear. So what do you make of these interesting space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.